Well, Chris, um, what's the latest with Cross Counter? Um, well, he went out for a nice uh, canter this morning, just a regular exercise. Uh, we're very happy with him. Uh, his wound's healing up uh, nicely, and the vets are uh, confident it's going to be all perfect for Cup Day. So his recovery this week, um, how many times have we seen him back on the track? Uh, he went out on Monday, did a light canter. Uh, again, Tuesday, a slightly stronger piece. And then Wednesday, he galloped. Uh, this morning, he went out and did another canter. Um, and we'll head to the weekend and where he'll do um, possibly a stronger piece of work with in company. Missing that amount of work, what effect has it had on the horse? Um, he, he seems fine. Um, Fitness-wise, he was a fit horse before he came here. He, he, he'd run a few times in England, and um, so I don't think fitness is an issue, but um, he seems to have sweetened up and he, he seems to have enjoyed his little week off. And Jungle Cat, um, we understand he's now heading towards the VRC Sprint Classic. Um, how's he ticking along? Yeah, very well. Um, we gave him a very easy week after his, his last run uh, and we're slowly just building towards uh, the 10th of November it is and he'll he'll do a little piece on Saturday as well but we're all systems go. And he looks pretty well suited coming back to that sort of 1200 metre trip as well? Um, yes, it was, it's kind of a hard race to dissect uh, the Turak run. Um, you couldn't definitively say he didn't stay the mile but um, you know all his previous forms around 6 and 7 so back to know what he knows and hopefully he can sign off with a with a big run. And Blair House this morning, um, he wasn't asked to do too much? No, he, he he's again like uh, Jungle Cat, we just gave him a nice easy week off after his run, freshen him up, we've got a bit of time bef between runs uh, and he seems in great order with himself.